So let's welcome Mommy Dina Osai. Please, let's welcome her. Hallelujah. So glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me for me. Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Even me. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Indeed, he loves me. Indeed, he loves you. I don't know, but God is speaking to someone here this morning. He says, I love you. Someone here feels not loved. Someone feels empty in the heart. Needs some warmth. The Holy Spirit is here to wrap himself around you. To bring healing to your heart. To bring your love and refreshing. Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you for the love of Jesus who died upon the cross for us. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Are there lionesses in the house? Praise the Lord. Are there Deborahs in the house? Praise the Lord. And I tell you, we cannot do without the Mordecai's. Are there Mordecai's in the house? Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. Please, you can have your seat briefly. I thank you. You're all welcome. And dear Pastor Emmanuel of Victory House, RCCG, and his wife, we thank you for making it easy for us. May the Lord bless your labor of love. And I also thank everyone who has believed in this vision without even meeting us physically. You will surely reap the fruits in Jesus' name. The word of God says, Blessed is she who believeth, for there shall be a performance. Indeed, God bless all our pastors and remnants all over the world. Now, why, why not America first? I kept pondering over this. Why do we have to come through America? True North America. And it just was quickened into my spirit. It says, it's Mount Zion, the side of the north, the city of the great king. So there's something that is going to happen in the side of the north. There's something great that God is walking in the side of the north. There's great potential, the power of God right here in the north. It's like a womb, an entrance, a gate. Hallelujah. And God is going to be steering the side of the north. And the river will flow. And it's going to flow all through America. All through. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 37 verse 31 says, The remnant that is escaped from the house of Judah shall yet again take root downward and bear fruits upward. And talking about taking root, there must be a passion for God in your heart that will make you begin the process of taking root. It's because the tree has a passion to connect to life. Its roots begin to go deep in search of water and nutrients. Plants need water and nutrients to grow. So also we, the deeper the roots, the more capacity your lives, you know, the more capacity on our lives to handle the things God is committing into our hands to impact our world by the dominion mandate of God's kingdom. Now, meeting my husband, Apostle Armel Sai, was one of the best things that ever happened to me after salvation. Hallelujah. 
And I met him somewhere in 2002, when I had just um, gradually started to take root. I'd come to know the Lord, but I did not know anything about relating with the Lord in a more personal way until my roommate in the university, my name Betty at the time, came crying profusely into my room, into the room, we shared a room. And I was wondering, why, why is she crying? What's the problem? Why are you crying so much? Did someone hurt you? Did someone say something? And when she found her voice, she said, I heard God's voice. It's like, you heard God's voice? He speaks? You can hear him? I said, if you heard God's voice, please, can you take me to that place where you heard God's voice? Because at the time there was kind of emptiness. So I was searching for something, I didn't know what. But I felt that there was something much more to the Christian life that I'm holding on to, to the Christian life I was born into church. I felt there was something much more. And God brought this lady in my way and I found myself. She took me to the place. It wasn't like you were literally here saying, God say this. You know, but the atmosphere of that place was so thick. The presence of God was so great. The relationship between the people was so beautiful. It was so pure. So pure. The love in the midst of the brethren was so pure. You could touch it. Hallelujah. And that was where I, I, I knew that, oh, God exists. And he's true. And as I began to take root through that particular prayer network, you know, I met my husband at that point, 20, 2002. And when I met him, when the Lord brought the man of God my way, the same year, 2002, that I found that same place, um, where I began to hear him bring forth the revelation or word of God. And as I attended meetings where he taught, my eyes were open to the spiritual reality behind the letters of the Bible. And through his teachings, I learned how to relate with the Lord practically. My husband is the first person I ever heard teaching about how to perceive things in the spirit, how to respond to spiritual reality, how to connect, how to contain and express God. His teachings draw you closer to God, helps you extray your life to know where you are, where you are out of alignment with God so that you can repent and connect back to our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is it. You could be in church. You could know the word of God. You could say it. But do you know the spirit behind the word? There's a spiritual reality that we must all awaken to. There's a spiritual, you know, personality behind the word that we must relate to. And that's, that is where life comes from. Hallelujah. And that is why you can be in church. You might know all the songs. You might know all the word. But if you have not contacted this spirit, this life behind the word, you could still be the same person for several years. No change, no transformation. But I know that when you meet life, when you meet that spirit behind the word, it transforms your life. Something new begins to be birthed in your life. Your life begins to look beautiful. Hallelujah. In America, we are glad that you have received us. And we are here to complement the work of God that has been going on here. Yes. We know that work has been going on. We are not the first people who have come here. Labors have gone on years. There are wells that have been dug right here. Hallelujah. We're not coming to do something new. We're coming to complement what men have done. What God has done in the past. Hallelujah. And those wells that have been gradually shut down will begin to be open once again in the name of Jesus. And I believe that as we dig through the tunnel of prayer, word and power, a great river of God will be released to stir forth revival. On the whole landscape and I greet you and look forward to joining the labors for the kingdom of God right here in America and I end 
with this song, even as our father will come up. There's river. There's a river. There's a river. Flowing from your throne. Can you help me sing it? There's a river. 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 There's, There's a, a river. River flowing from your throne. Help me sing it all. There's a river. There's a river of life. There's a river. It's awakening the dead. There's a river. River. Flowing from your throne. Can you connect to the river that is flowing right here? There's a river of the Spirit of God. You want to say, Lord, I connect to your river. It's a river of life and it's flowing here. Yes, a river that brings for restoration, a river that brings for healing, a river that brings for power, a river that covers a lien of a siatai, liene kabrine suata, liene ma shataya, eko mata, manda siatai, rakabalalaya. I connect to this river, I connect to this river, rede no siatala ma shataai, only on a siatai, kabandi ala suatai, heavy on a ma shataai. Yes, I see it as an awakening. An awakening to how that someone hears it. I'm gonna see it in a little shut of time. Yes, the spirit of God comes alive in you. And when you have contact with that spirit, you have life. You have life abundantly. Ray of a suit. Elina Makasia Teliva. Oh yes, we thank you, Lord. For your river. Flowing over North America. For your river. For your river. Ready to pass forth in power, in authority, in